If I was like 21, 22. Including my water. My educational timeline. Katniss Everdeen. I volunteer as tribute. <sighs> We're trying to reach the water. This is not even like the actual trail to go to the beach, but like a shortcut that Rosal wants us to take because <laughs> we don't want to walk 30 minutes to the trail to reach the beach. So we're going this way, huh? <sighs> This is like a random path just to reach the water, which you guys can see. PETA! 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 PETA, wait for me! <laughs> PETA! <laughs> Guys, I found my spot. You know, this is the perfect opportunity to use this or to try this sun bomb hair lightener basically you spray this on your hair and you lie down the sun and your hair is gonna naturally lighten through the help of this spray plus the sun so let's try that see Raz at saka yung twin brothers nyo nandun sila nagsiswimming <laughs> But here I'm just chilling, sunbathing. I'm doing my own thing, as per usual. I like this spot that we ended up going because there's not much people. And I have this cute rock to just do my sunbathing. I feel like if you're naturally blonde, this is. This is gonna work way faster on your hair, but since I'm not, I just need a little help in lightening my hair naturally so that I don't have to come into the salon and pay so much. I mean, I'm not trying to be blonde, just lighten my hair a bit. We're in the Nevada side, so you can still drink from plastic water bottles. But I heard if you're from the California side or you are in the California side of Lake Tahoe, you are not allowed to bring plastic bottles. I'm so sorry. This was just a very um, spontaneous trip to the beach, to the lake. So we weren't really 100% um, prepared. This is a nice spot where I am. Yeah. Look how clear the water is. Shining. How long do I record for? <laughs> 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 
back to my nest. <laughs> okay. I just got off the water. It was really cold. It's like an ice bath, I cold plunge. But um, it was really nice. And now I'm back here on my stone. I just want to share that these morels, I've had these for like three years now and it never fails me. This is so perfect to wear, especially if you're going to the beach or, you know, it was perfect because we hiked from up there to down here and I was just wearing this. It might look a little ugly, but it's really functional because you can see wide yung dito sa toes part so spread yung toes mo so very comfortable siya and like i said it's it's really nice to wear when you are going to the beach or going going in a body of water that's rocky like this and kind of like slippery i highly recommend this one this was just gifted to me by Merrell i think three years ago and to this day still very much happy about it and using it Weird. Ayon. Because there's a cock in the water, and it's like nobody wants to speed up, but at the same time, everyone's kind of crowding here, which makes my driving feel so much more weirder. Because now I know that, like, the drive on my own on the freeway. Hey Siri, what's the wind condition right now? It's about 18 knots. Also, another thing is that it is so windy right now, 18, 19 miles per hour of wind. And kapag tumabi ako sa mga sasakyan yung medyo mas mataas sa akin, they're prone to be swayed by the wind more. We made it guys in one piece. Nakauwi na ako dito sa apartment ko finally after almost three weeks. Two weeks since my trip from Venice, LA. Um, I just stayed at Russell's for like two weeks and I got my car. But I never really drove home here to my apartment which is like 40 minutes away from Russell's. So... I am finally na ako dito and guys you have no idea how anxious I was driving kanina tapos rush hour pa ako nagdrive tapos ang lakas lakas pa ng hangin tapos meron pang cop somewhere the area I was driving so everyone's kind of driving weird no one wants to speed up so yeah anyway uh, since I was gone here in my apartment for like two weeks super dami ko ng packages and also that's one of the reasons why I really needed to go home kasi hinahanap na ako ng apartment office ko they said I have so much packages and nawawala na sila ng space and that I should better get it so that's what I did earlier so let's unbox some packages this is everything we need to unbox including my water I'm so excited about this one because it's glass, guys. And if you guys know me, I am very particular with the water I drink. Like, it's okay if you call me maarte or anything, but I am a water drinker and I could really tell the difference sa mga tubig. Like, for example, sa water, sa bottled water. Ang daming bottled water, diba? But <laughs> I can tell the difference kung alin yung okay at alin ang hindi. And, guys, for the past years, Three years, ever since I'm here in apartment, ko na to, I've been only drinking Fiji water. Yun lang yung water na pinapa deliver ko consistently until you know so many bad news are just coming up about Fiji and how toxic their plastic bottles are, yung plastic and all nano plastic and everything. So that's why I had to research for another healthy water and I figured it is spring water so this is um, by the brand called Mountain Valley spring water this is a five gallon glass bottle so ayun, I'm not saying that I not eating ng Fiji forever I mean tuwing magsa stopover sa gas station or nasa road trip kami say with Russ 
I always ask him to buy me Fiji water or grab me Fiji water sa mga gas station or convenience store. But now, I think I'm doing the switch because I want to drink less water from a plastic bottle, you know? So that's why I switch into glass. Anyway, let's unbox the rest of these. Okay, let's start with this one. This one is a folding water pump dispenser. And this is something that you put on top of my gallon. Para makuha ako ng water dito. Ooh! Ralph Lauren. A perfume. Oh my god! Smells for men. This is... Ah! Margellas! Oh my gosh! Wow! Beach walk. Oh my god, it smells so good. Wait, it's so good. I don't know what to do. Thank you so much, Margiela. Ooh! This is from IT Cosmetics. Gosh, I like the packaging. It's round. You guys know I have a thing with round objects. It gave me three kinds of blush. Oh, this is a brush. I'm gonna try to open stuff in a very careful way. In case that I would have enough items to hop on. The TikTok trend that you guys have been DMing me about. Wala pa ako na replyan ni sa inyo, kasi wala ako madami <laughs> makeup guys. I don't really um, overconsume or ngayon palang ako nagkakaroon ng mga PR packages from here in America. So ngayon palang ako nagkakaroon ng mga stock ng makeup and everything. And kapag meron na akong enough, I would gladly do a giveaway, guys. I promise that. So here are the two shades. Isa dito, guys, ibibigay ko sa inyo. Ooh. Oh, filter baby. Okay, this is not a PR package. I I bought this. It's from Filter Baby. I'm replacing my faucet filter sa bathroom ko kasi doon ako naguhugas ng mukha. I don't know what you call this. Is this the Filter Baby 2.0? Something like that. And guys, this is really helpful for my skin. Not right now because my skin's so fucked up. I've been at Russell's for like three weeks. So my skin has not been the best. But this is so perfect. Perfect timing because I'm in my apartment. Ko, so I have this. And if you guys want to explore Filter Baby filter sa faucet ninyo, sa bathroom nyo, or anywhere, um, I will be leaving the link below in my description box. I think I also have a discount code for you guys. I'm not sure. Just check my description box. But I can really vouch for this one, guys. This has been such a huge help for my skin. So, explore nyo. What is this? It's from Jane. Oh my god. The box is botched. Oh wow. So these are eyeshadow sticks. Okay. okay. Let's just imagine that they came out like this. One, two, or three of these might end up in your hands, guys. Ooh. This one is from Giorgio Armani. Guys, you know, I feel so lucky that someone thought to put my name in the peer list of all these brands. So, to whoever you are, thank you, thank you so much. I never would have imagined that I would move here in the U.S., leave all my Philippine PR behind, and ito pala yung papalit, you know? So, thank you, thank you so much for all the brands out there thinking of me all the higher ups thinking of me thank you thank you so much i have here the giorgio armani or armani beauty cheek tint ah oh my gosh another blush Ooh, barbie pink Ooh, even barbie or pink something coral or peachy wow thank you so much oh my gosh Oh my gosh! It's so epic surprise! You bought this! Unti ko nang makot through yung box, guys. But this is my first Acne Studios shoes that I've been dreaming to buy. Pero ang tagal-tagal kong pinag-isipan. And I'm so happy I got this on sale too. Okay, so... <laughs> Yay! Another addition to my growing shoe collection, aka B-Show. We have some bag. And then the actual shoes. Ah! Okay, guys. Baka mapangitan kayo, and baka ako lang ina kaka intinde. But I really would love to have clugs in my collection. 
something na slip on easy not too heely but more like okay platform that i could really walk in and wow <laughs> oh my gosh and guys it's also hair mule so this is called the bloggy hair mules if i'm not mistaken and i got it in the white colorway ang unang unang gusto ko talagang colorway guys is yung brown and white na para siyang may cow effect cow hide print pero guys that's like last season na kasi or last last season so wala na siya sa website ng acne studios wala na rin siya sa mga ibang market even sa second hand market you would barely see that cow hide or like that brown and white colorway but I'm happy to get my hands on this. And I think that I'm really meant to get the white anyway. Para, you know, it would go with everything. It looks like, you guys, I feel like <laughs> not everyone would get it. It's like the girls that get it, get it. The girls that don't, don't. And I feel like this is more like a fashion motherfucker type of piece. Ah, but I really love it, guys. Last two. This one I have no idea because this one doesn't say. It's a shipping label. Oh, so this FedEx and this PacSun are all PacSun. So this is um, for work, guys. I'm so lucky that PacSun tapped me to work with them. And it's so crazy because when I first came here sa US, nakikita kita ko lang to sa malls. And wala naman akong nakita ng ganito sa Pilipinas. And I figured, you know, oh my gosh, this is like one of the one of the American brands. And the fact that they're working with me. I'm just so happy that, like I said, they even thought of me. That brands like this even think of me. Yeah. I can't wait for you guys to see me wear these pieces on my Instagram. Uh-oh. Gotta clean. So I woke up, I made my matcha, and then I took my exam. Because guys, I'm back to school, y'all. So I haven't mentioned it, but since I was in Lake Tahoe, nagre relax sa bato under the sun and by the lake, my school has started since then. And I have been doing my classes since then. And now I'm on my exam number two. And I just finished it for the last two hours. And <laughs> I'm so happy because I scored 100%. <laughs> if you guys remember my first episode of Life in Plus 63 series, yung pauwi ako ng Pilipinas, somewhere in that vlog, I mentioned na susulitin ko na yung pag-uwi ko ng Pilipinas kasi baka pag-uwi ko dito sa Amerika kakailanganin ko na mag-stay ng matagal kasi basta time for me to go home gusto ko na din sulitin cause pagbalik ko dito sa Amerika matagal-tagal na din ako mag stay cause basta I'll just update you guys but hindi ko sinabi sa inyo yung basta and eto kasi yun guys pag uwi ko dito ng Amerika ang plano ko talaga is bumalik ng school and syempre kapag nag start ako ng school kailangan mag stay ako dito ng matagal kasi girl this is school and I can't just leave especially we're back to normal I might have some face to face or in person classes here is what they call it soon right now i am in summer semester i was supposed to be in spring semester but hindi ako mabot kasi nga nasa pilipinas pa ako guys ng mga bandang april and yun yung start ng spring semester dito sa america pero wala ako dito kasi nga kakauwi ko lang nung april so the earliest na sunod na semester na pwede ko na agad itake is summer semester so that's why we are in summer school right now and i'm just taking a few classes para kapag sa fall um 
you know, tuloy-tuloy na ako. Honestly, ang start ng school dito sa America, for what I know, is fall semester talaga, which is bandang August or September. We're in June right now, you guys, and it's summer here in America. June, July, summer here. So, ayun, I'm just taking one class right now, and it's this math na... I already know this math, guys. Hindi, hindi naman sa nagbubuat ko ng sarili kong bangko. But this is literally grade 8 math. So, it's just right for me to get 100% there. Especially, naginalingan ko naman sa math nung, nung high school ako. Nung grade 8, grade 7 ako. Pero kasi, the sad truth lang is, kahit tinake ko na tong high school math na to, even some of the topics that I'm getting right now sa math, um, I already had in senior high school back when I was in USD and even in my first year college in USD math, like I already touched those lessons na I'm having right now and nasa transcript ko actually ito, algebra math na to, pero hindi nila kinecredit dito sa US. So I have no choice but to kind of repeat um, this subject pero ayon honestly i think i'm just gonna give you guys a refresher of my educational history <laughs> in case you guys are new here or para lang um hindi kayo lost and also to keep you guys in track since the next few vlogs weeks um we're back to school and this is my life now for the next few moments of my life like i said so yeah i'm gonna give you guys a refresher while i get ready because russell's gonna pick me up in like two three hours okay guys let's start you guys know i had my if you've been watching me actually since day one you guys would know that i had my senior high school grade 11 and 12 in usd university of santo tomas espana manila in the philippines and I was a pioneer batch of K-12 sa Pilipinas. Meaning, first batch ako ng K-12 sa Pilipinas. And around this era was also when I started my YouTube career and when it took off. Because I think people were curious about what it looks like to be in senior high school having it for the first time in the Philippines and also I think people got so interested on what it looks like to be a senior high school student in USD so I think that's how my YouTube career actually took off because I was vlogging silly videos in senior high school which I got you know bashed about because people say my videos have no sense and everything but I was just literally filming <laughs> Silly videos! Back in high school, what would you expect from an 18-year-old who just started YouTube for fun? But, <laughs> I understand that people were so woke. That time, also, Twitter era, lahat ng magkakamali ng isang beses, they cancel. But it was a crazy era we were in before, but that was my senior high school life, okay? And then, I graduated senior high school, and then there was a time na I... I already know that I'm gonna do my university or my college in USD because that's my first choice. But then everyone was like taking entrance exams of top four universities. So I, that time for fun, I also did it myself. But I don't think I ever vlogged it because I literally just um, did it for fun. I remember not asking my parents for money para sa entrance exam ng big four universities na yon kasi trip ko lang talaga but that time hindi ako nag-review or anything I just really wanted to see how far my brain will go that time so obviously I, I got in USD yun naman yung first choice ko pero I also tried La Salle, Ateneo, and UP but I cannot remember which one between Ateneo and La Salle yung napasa ko but I passed one of those pero UP di ko talaga napasa guys kasi that time I very much remember the night before my UP entrance exam I was out partying y'all and naka na ako sa dorm ko ng 6am tapos yung exam ko sa UP is 7am so I only had like that one hour to 
get my shit together <laughs> but basically i was so fucked up and hungover but i made it to my up exam but i did not pass it but like i said first year college uh we are in usd and i was taking medical biology and even back in senior high school um medical field na talaga yung track ko so i just carried that over in college and then around mid first year college narinig ko na yung parents ko na baka daw mag immigrate kami sa us about like 50% possibility that we would immigrate to the US, me and my sisters. And around that time, I did not really care. I did not really care kung anong decision nila kung mag-immigrate ba or hindi because I was so busy being a student, being a vlogger, partying, clubbing, and friends. <laughs> the partying, clubbing part, I don't really vlog about it on my YouTube, but it was part of my university life, okay? I was just really living my life. <laughs> to the fullest which by the way i'm glad that i partied hard in my late teenage years up to 20 years old or since i was in the philippines because now in my early 20s that since i immigrated here in the u.s i'm retired i'm retired from the club from the drinking and from the partying but also can i just say that okay feeling like i'm going to mention in my vlog really but um the Gen Z's today are smarter compared to the Gen Z's of my time because the Gen Z's today when you are a public figure and you go out in the club partying your ass off so hard the Gen Z's today actually don't care and respect your privacy and they don't just invade it by taking pictures without your consent but it's so unfair because my time People invaded my privacy and took pictures of me without my consent while I was having the time of my life in a freaking club. Which, like I said, I'm doing my partying, clubbing life in private. I don't vlog about it for a reason because I want to keep it private. But then people just invaded and then twist stories. But then, anyway, that time it was a crazy, crazy, crazy era, okay? But honestly, that time. I stood so strong because like I said, I know my truth and I had like a very strong support system within like my close close circle. Anyway, okay, ito na nga, last, no, late months of my first year college, my parents said, okay, you guys are immigrating soon, wala nang mag -e enroll for the next semester, which for me, second year college. Hindi na mag enroll. So that time I started to get my TOR, transcript of records, and just um, prepare myself to leave and transfer. Then ayun na nga, few months later, I immigrated here in the US. I'm using this Jane Iredale eyeshadow stick, by the way, guys, and I like it. It's actually nice. Anyway, I finally immigrated to the US in November 2019. And then few months later, 2020 na, guys. And then the pandemic hit, we all know it was a very chaotic time. And then uh, that same year, 2020, I was trying to go back to school, but everything was just online that time. But I, you know, I still went back to school. I enrolled myself in a community college and online classes lang ako that time, but still I started to go back to school. And I was also uh, still pursuing medical field course that time just to carry on what I started in first year college back when i was in usd and then come 2021 guys the beginning of 2021 uh, my lola died ay kakaumpisa pa lang ng taon meron na agad dagok sa buhay ko and then that time it was just such a dark moment for me kasi nga peak pa ng pandemic you couldn't just go home kasi may quarantine may mga um, rules and everything, social distancing, you can't just be together, you know? And that time, it was just so impossible for me to go home sa Pilipinas. So I didn't even get to go home for my lola who died, who raised me when I was a baby. And then that time, nagsunod-sunod na ang problema sa pamilya ko. I had an extreme family situation that time. Super lalanya na I can't even say here right now, but you've never, you probably, as a norm, as a regular person, you probably never heard of it before. Basta kakaiba, yung pinagdadaanan ko nun. And no, guys, it's not my 
sisters, please leave them alone. I know that time, parang iniisip ng lahat, it's my sisters. No, please, we're all okay. It's not my sisters. It's just a huge family situation that time. Basically, that time, I was so emotionally and mentally fucked up. Namantay yung lola ko, hindi man lang ako makapag-grieve ng maayos kasi I have a family situation going on. Hindi ako makauwi. Wala akong matakbuhan, wala akong mapuntahan. So, super mababaliw na talaga ako nun, guys. To the point na hindi ko kinaya yung mga nangyayari sa buhay ko. I had a major panic attack. I even called 911 because I thought I was dying and I thought I was having a heart attack but turns out it was just a panic attack. Then ayun na, I had to pause my school. Inistop ko muna kasi inaasikasi ko na that time kung paano ako aalis, saan ako pupunta. Nag-iisip na ako ng plano ng buhay ko kung paano ako mag-move out. Hanggang sa, nagawa ko na guys, nag-move out na ako mid-2021. But still, I was so mentally fucked up. Hindi ko alam gagawin ko kasi for the first time, I had to provide for myself. Had to focus on work. That's why I paused school and also I did not have the mental capacity to have academics. That time, hindi ko na kaya. So, that time, I just had to focus at one thing at a time and that was work and my mental and emotional health. I even put myself through therapy just to really heal and work on myself and get my sanity back. So mid-2021 to 2022, super hustle and grind talaga ako guys kasi survival mode. <laughs> I was trying to provide for myself and figure out living alone. And also, by the way, since I moved out, 2021, 2022, I had to distance myself from my family, but no, I was not beefing with anybody. It's like everyone understood naman yung distance ko, and it's fine. And that time, like I said, I was just trying to focus on figuring things out, also healing myself. Like I said, I went to therapy, and part of it, really huge chunk of it, is me distancing myself from the entire family and just focus on my on myself. And then fast forward to 2023. Um, beginning of 2023, I was thinking na to go home. I was just thinking about it. Beginning of 2023, and then mid 2023, I decided to book a flight. Na okay, I'm finally gonna go home. And then late 2023, tuluyan na nga tayong umuwi sa Pilipinas, guys. I went home to the Philippines and ang goal ko talaga nung pag-uwi ko is to reconnect and reconcile with my mom. And then number two, um, to grieve, properly grieve my Lola's death. And then at the back of my mind, yun nga, I told you guys na susulitin ko yung pag-uwi ko sa Pilipinas. Six months ako dun. Kasi nga, um, third goal is pagbalik ko dito sa US, plano ko is to go back to school. Kasi I know na once I reconnect and reconcile with my mom, it's gonna feel so light para sa akin. And it's a huge part of my healing to bring back that mental and emotional capacity that I have once lost. And tama nga ako kasi now I feel so much better as a person. So, parang, you know, meron na akong room to actually go back to school, have that mental capacity to pursue and continue what I once paused. You feel me? So now, we're back in the US and we're back in school. I honestly feel so grateful that I get to do this on my own timeline and actually have i mean af afford the time to feel ready to go back to school because i understand that not everyone can just pause their education just because other parts of their life is falling apart i'm very grateful to the lord of the universe for guiding me all this time and also myself for I'm so proud of myself girl for like working so hard to get myself to this point like girl kung babalik ako ng school gusto ko yung handa yung utak ko kasi ako yung magbabayad ng sarili kong tuition kung papalpak ako at wala akong mental capacity to do school edi sariling pera ko lang din yung sinayang ko for my tuition and yes okay may financial aid but guess what guys I was not approved. I don't know why. I don't know if it's the income or how relative 
it is this time or maybe talagang late lang ako but hopefully for fall hopefully for fall semester ma-approve ako kasi ang laki-laki ng babayaran ko for fall semester but anyway <laughs> that's it guys that's my educational timeline this is the face and I just put my hair on messy mode also I think that my bob is getting long I wanna cut it shorter or get a trim but um this is the fit i don't know about the top the shorts i'm for sure because it's really hot outside and this is really cute but this top i feel like i'm naked i feel like i'm starting to believe you mga tao na nagsasabi when they turn 25 some things just switch in their heads or some things just really change because <laughs> if i was like 21, 22, I would wear this outside. I don't give a fuck. But now, I'm 25. Feeling ko ang hubad na tong outfit ko, guys. Masyado na siyang... It's just too naked for me. So, even though this looks cute with... Um, black boots. I feel like I'm gonna change the top. I feel like I'm still gonna wear this kind of outfit. Just not today in the fair where there's so many kids family you know i'm thinking about them so <laughs> let's change this top okay guys i think i'm gonna go for this look i switch into this like charcoal shirt kind of full length so we're not showing too much skin and i don't feel as naked yeah i think this just looks more chill nonchalant cool girl vibes and this is the whole look i'm not gonna bring any bag I feel like I'm just gonna bring my spy belt to put here. It's like a very slim, discreet belt bag to put here. So you must just super loud. This is the look! Bye! Let's go to rodeo and fair. Every 